Hi guys! Tonight we are going to do a reaction video on the Binibining Filipinas um, 2021. 2021. Uh, we're gonna try and film as much as we can, but we're gonna focus on the Q&A. Yes, Q&A and um, the coronation night, of course. And so, as we approach the finish line, we have 34 new beautiful Beanie Beanies, but only 12 of them will proceed to the next round of the competition. Handing the envelope to me now is Mr. Alan Ocho. Thank you, sir. As each finalist is called, she will deliver a, deliver a short message about her pandemic experience, and we will all be able to have a small glimpse at the personality and character of our finalists. Sino sino kaya ang nasa top 12? Well, we are about to find out right now. Here we go. Good luck, Mini Beanies. In no particular order, the first finalist is our Beanie Beanie from Masbate. Eastern Samar, Beanie Beanie number 19, Gabriel Bastiano. It is more. It, it has been more than a year since our Beanie Beanie dreams was postponed. I am standing here because I want to show to you that there is still hope. With a strong faith and determination, we can achieve a new beautiful day. Three, Patricia Garcia from Manila. COVID-19 brings us a timely message allowing us to challenge existing systems in our country. As a public servant, I realize the importance of good governance for the protection of the lives and health of the Filipino people. I have my fair share of silent battles during this pandemic. So I'm but I stand I'm here tonight knowing that mental illness is not a sign of weakness. Remember, you are heard and you matter. Well, we're all regaining the smiles and the praises taken away from us. As the cabin crew, I am happy and grateful to be of service for fellow Filipinos. that I have learned during this pandemic is to be more grateful, to appreciate the little things in life, the laughters that we share with our families and friends. Those are the things that truly matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, Meti Cruz from Venezuela. Venezuela, 
pandemic reminded us that we are all equal and can be infected by COVID-19. Regardless of our social status, age, race, religion, or gender. But with compassion, respect, and unity, together we can heal. So we have Eastern Samar, Manila, Iloilo, Oriental Mindoro, Pampanga, and Valenzuela. Yes. So, um, up next yung half. Second ng, half. Yeah, second half ng. Sino favorite mo sa first six? Um, so far, siguro, I'll go for, um, Pampanga, Ketaruk. Yeah, so far, sa, sa anim na to, Pampanga ako. Okay. Ikaw? Um, physically, uh, Iloilo. Iloilo. Uh -huh. Gusto ko siya. Pang beauty queen for me, yung beauty niya. Hopefully lang ma magaling sumagot, magaling magsalita kasi okay. parang medyo uncomfortable siya ka hindi siya super confident kanina eh. Pero with basing off of the face, siya yung gusto ko. We'll see later siguro ano lang yan. Um, papainit. Papainit lang yung mga yan. Medyo syempre kabado pa pero mm -hmm. mamaya for sure um, lahat ng best nila lalabas nila yan just to get the crown. Let's see. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the Pinipini Pilipinas 2021 Swimsuit Competition. Ayan. Maktumang and ragain. 19. From Bokongan, Eastern Sama. Labang, labang. Ano? Yung labang dress niya, ano? Pika trio na. Eh, same ano eh. Designer. Honey 
Grace Carcassano. Becoming a teacher is among Honey's greatest dreams. Until then, she immerses herself in literature, learning new languages, and founded her about the swimsuit, the red lava inspired gown. It was okay. Uh, it was okay. Um, siguro yung color lang, medyo light. Hindi siya ganun ka bright compare dun sa 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 gown niya, de ba? So I, ako ako kasi ang mas napapansin ko yung pattern. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know pero parang nag-complement masyad sa 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 katawan niyo mm -hmm. yung yung pattern yung swimsuit kasi meron pa si mas bate nakikita ko na parang yung isang side medyo nahuhulog na hulog ko kahit yung dito yung sa gilid kanina may nakita din ako ano um na nakikita na rin talaga parang yung ano yun yung nilalagay padding o oh, padding yun nga yeah. may nakikita na ako um pero yung pa yung what I meant was the cut, ha? Hindi uh -oh. pa yung pattern. The cut. The pattern, you know, it was so Catriona, Lava, mm -hmm. Lava Gown inspired. Mm -hmm. I like that it's not the block. Yung, hindi lang yung parang block colors. Totoo. Ano siya, may, yun, may pattern siya. Tapos parang ang very, very similar to Catriona's um, gown. winning gown. Um, at saka, ano rin, hindi siya boring tingnan. Kasi mm -hmm. hindi siya yung like, plain white, plain yeah. yellow, plain red, or something na plain lang talaga. Mm -hmm. At least may, meron kang nakikita. Siguro medyo ano lang, um, nalalasawan lang ako sa color. Siguro kung medyo brighter yung color niya, nagpop yung color ng swimsuit, siguro makikita natin yung medyo hubog ng katawan nila doon. Kung yun yung, kung yun yung nakikita sa TV. So para sa TV lang ha. Para so, sa akin sa color, siguro, it would make them look more radiant if it was brighter. But it was orange. Orange? Why is it red? Orange. Red. It's orange. Orange? Mm -hmm. Paling ko red din. But yeah. Are you sure? It's orange. It's orange, I'm sure. So I have... Red. It's not a beautiful, you know design for me. Yun lang talaga. I was a little um, concerned about the cut. Mm -hmm. Hindi talaga siya uh, hindi siya nag complement sa, uh, sa, sa structure ng katawan nila. Siguro kasi ano um, hindi pa sila yung tipong very toned yung mm -hmm. mga katawan. Yun pa. Yun, uh, I have to say. Medyo mga yun sabi mo kanina mga babying baby pa yung ano. Totoo. Alam mo yung Yung sa mga singit, kasi medyo tanga, ba? Mm -hmm. Nakikita ko talaga sa beauty queen at hindi ko talaga 
makaka hindi ko na kakaligtaan lagi ko naiisip sa mga beauty queen wala silang mga singit yung yung mm. line ng singit yung parang diretsong ano kulay pero dito parang may nakita ko pa yung mga singit-singit mm. nila na parang baby tas ang dami pang jiggles no? oh, eh ganun Mat- talaga chab- for me wala masyadong nagstand up Okay. Walang walang ala Samantha Bernardo. Kasi we we came from a Samantha and now, you know. So medyo mataas yung mm-hmm. expectation and even sa Triona, um yung sa universe niya, sabi ko nga wala bang magpapa-slow mo diyan na. <laughs> Alam mo yung magpapakitang gilas man lang, wala, wala. Um pero madadaan naman sa training yan. Eh. Yeah. And that's just um swimsuit. May yeah. may long gown pa and meron pang Q&A. Mm-hmm. And very promising sila ha when it comes to communication. So medyo mataas ang expectations so sa Q&A. We'll see later. Yes. Okay. Sounds great. So let's get started with this round starting beginning with our first finalist, Bini Bini 3. Celebrity guest panelist that I pick is me, Sestina Parsons. Bini Bini 3, turn around for your question. Magandang gabi, Bini Bini. This is my question for you. If you can speak to all Filipinos abroad, what are you most proud of as a Pinay despite the grueling and difficult pandemic situation in the Philippines? Filipinos are known to be resilient people and we have proved this because we have overcome the pandemic although the pandemic may not end but we see that Filipinos are fighting strong even if they are undergoing problems or they lost their livelihoods they are fighting for their family and my purpose here as your binibini is to be able to help all Filipinos become stronger and inspire them as well thank you Thank you, Bini Bini number three. The next Bini Bini of is number 15. Celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Boy Abunda. Kindly turn back to the screen to see your question. Bini Bini, good evening. And this is your question. Ngayon, madalas natin naririnig na it's okay not to be okay. My question is, when is it okay not to be okay? And when is it not okay to be not okay? You know, sometimes it's hard to move on especially that if we lost our loved ones when we're depressed when we have anxiety but most of all when we want to move forward in life you know my favorite saying in a movie disney inside out is embrace your sadness because in embracing your sadness you will feel uh, you will you will feel happiness afterwards thank you Thank you candidate number 15. Very graceful through that very challenging question from the king of talk. Definitely. And up next is Bini Bini number 19. Kindly step towards the table and pick your card. My judge is Miss Maria Garcia. Good evening Bini Bini. Good evening. My question is in what ways can a female public servant or politician can be more effective than a male politician? Well, I really understand that all of us are doing our best to be, to give the best service to everyone. And I can say that men servants are very strong when it comes to making decisions and with women they are very Um, they are very passionate when it comes to the things that they are doing and they are very sensitive with the feeling of the other people and that's what makes women servants different from men. 
Thank you, candidate number 19. Up next for our question in A round is Bini Bini 24. It is not an easy position to be in. The race under pressure needed in a situation like this. Definitely, Kat. And the questions are so beautiful, profound, and relevant as well. My judge is Under Secretary Benito Bengzon Jr., Chairman of the Board. Good evening. Good evening. Here is the question. Given the pandemic situation now in the Philippines, should vaccination be a choice or a mandate? Vac vaccination should be a choice. And I still remember the days when we were all longing for vaccines to be created. And now that vaccines are available, we tend to get hesitated because we fear of the side effects. But I encourage everyone to choose to get vaccinated because this is the big step for us to move forward and to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you, Bini Bini 24. Next up, we have our Bini Bini in the flaming red orange dress. Graciela Lehman. Hi. Hi, Graciela. I have chosen Mr. Enrique Hill. Good evening, Bini Bini. Good evening, sir. Hi. Your question is. What are your thoughts about romantic relationships which began and developed on social media during the pandemic lockdown? To be completely honest, there is nothing wrong with loving relationships that comes from social media. Because as we all know, we have harnessed the power of social media. And this is something that we should celebrate because love knows no time, love knows no place. Even at social media, we can meet, meet someone and we can be in love. Thank you. Thank you so much, Graciela. And the last from this batch, we have Bini Bini number seven. Good luck. I have chosen Miss Kylie Versaza. Hello, Meiji. Hi, Miss Kylie. Hello. My question is, these days, beauty queens are also considered as beauty athletes with all the training we undergo. What is your message of inspiration to all Filipino athletes who are competing in the forthcoming Olympics in Japan, given the pandemic situation? As a candidate myself, I understand and I completely agree that we are like athletes because we, re we are required to be disciplined. We are required to give our 100% passion and focus on whatever we will do. And to our athletes, I know that you are also waiting for this to happen again. And this will happen again in, the, in Japan and, and it's a good sign and it means that there's hope and we are go back to normal thank you thank you so much candidate number seven and that concludes our first round of question and answer portion the second batch of finalists for the q a round and now it's the turn of these ladies to pick a card Ooh, earlier i could feel you just itching to give your own spin on those questions the glagans is for i think it's a given naman for us q a nerds diba? but the ladies did an exceptional job despite the difficult question yes we are very proud mentors right now okay so let's hope our remaining finalists enjoy and relish this competition as much as we do let's proceed with bini bini 23 from albay jasmine dimabulangan <laughs> Celebrity guest panelist, Congresswoman Vilma Santos Resco. Let me turn to your back to see the question. This is my question. So much has happened to us in the course of a year. 
when we emerge from this crisis? What positive change do you foresee happening to humanity in general? Something positive that I have witnessed during the pandemic is how resilient and adaptable people are. We have been put through a lot the past year, but still we find ways to help one another and find, um, find ways to help. And at the end of the day, as long as we put our generosity and charity first, then together we can heal and we can get through this crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 23. Up next, we have candidate number one, Samantha Panlilio. I chose Judge Mr. Rajo Lauro. Good evening, Binibini. Hi. Good, Good evening, evening Binibini. Good evening. YOLO, you only live once. Name something you learned and did for the first time during the pandemic, which you consider as the most life-changing of all. One thing that I did during the pandemic was actually cook food for frontliners because I love to cook. And I also have a food blog, which um, I do in my spare time. And it was such a fulfilling and humbling experience, you know, helping these people and helping contribute to the people who are actually in the front lines helping us Filipinos. And so I hope that what I did inspired other women too to also help out one another because the only way that we can survive and heal and recover through this pandemic is if we help one another. Thank you. Just in the nick of time, thank you so much, Binibini One. Next up, we have from Quezon Province, Binibini A, Patricia Babista. Question will be coming from Miss Liza Soberan. Hi, good evening, Patricia. So my question for you is, fake news, bashing, rants, and the like are abound on social media. Why do you think they should not be part of the new beautiful, even if they encourage social interactions on this platform? Social media is such a beautiful technology it has given us but there is always limitations. So I hope that in social media, we will create a space where there is no hate. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Up next, we have Binibini number 25, Honey Grace Cartasano. Please pick your card. My judge is Mr. Josel Dosti. Hi, good evening. Bini B, number 25. Amid the hardships and suffering the world is facing now, if you're given a chance to face God and ask one question, what will that be and why? I will be having a chance, chance to ask God. It is it is why, but I know that everything happens for a reason. We may be facing pandemic right now, and there is so much uncertainty, but this revealed that every Filipino has the heart of a hero. So thank you, God, for everything, even though we're facing this pandemic. Thank you to all the Filipino heroes. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Next up from Masbate is Binibini 17, Hannah Arnold. My judge is Miss Pinky Webb. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Given the reach and power of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines nowadays? Why? 
or why not? First of all, freedom of speech is a basic human right that we all must remember. And it is important for a democracy. And with our upcoming election, we definitely need free speech. For example, on Twitter, we are limited to few characters. And what I have seen from these tweets has been powerful and has helped me think about who I would like to vote for in the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you, Binibini number 17, Hannah Arnold. Next up, we have Binibini number 10, Maureen Montaigne. My judge is Secretary Benito Bendon Jr. Good evening, Binibini. Here's my question. Now that compassion is needed more than ever, what is your most recent act of kindness and how did this affect others? During the pandemic, I was in Shargao and together friends and I banded together and we created the Shargao Community Kitchen. It was a trying time and everyone felt how hard it was. Our hearts were heavy. But together we rose, together we supported our communities and provided our hot meals and assistance to everyone on the island and helped as much as we could. And for me, it proved that together, community conquers all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini 10, Maureen Montaigne. And we have the last Bini Bini to show her heart. Bini Bini 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Cinderella Obenita. Hi, Gahat and Nicole. I have chosen celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Michael Cinco. Kindly turn to the screen to see your question. Hello and good evening to you, Bini Bini. Here's my question. How important are luxury items like bags, clothes, and jewelry for a woman when the national economy is down and struggling? In life, we always find ourselves at a crossroad of choices. Women always have a choice whether to prioritize luxury items when, while we are facing a pandemic, and also they have a choice to embrace a concept of a new beautiful, which is responsive to the needs of the time, adaptive to the change of times. And I think I would choose to be that woman who understands the problems of the Philippines, the problems of my community, so that we would be able to uplift each other. And I would be that kind of woman who would comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Mayang gabi sa inyong tanan. Okay, so we're done with seven. Siya yung humabol ng hope. Mm -hmm. Now, um, 23. What change do you foresee after the pandemic? Mm -hmm. So... For me, she did not answer the question. Um, ang layo nung sagot niya sa tanong na I felt bad because it was a great opportunity to really shine. Um, it was an easy question um, because of the many things that happened to us. Um, what is that one thing that you think would change after mm -hmm. after the pandemic? So, parang parang the positive change. Um, to humanity, parang mm -hmm. ganon, um, to each and every one of us, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kahit papano, um, kahit papano, di ba, is, bawat isa sa atin, nagkakaroon tayo ng realization or any changes sa behavior, sa attitude natin, um, even sa goals natin in life. Sana, binase niya sa experience niya. Yes. Uh, Doon yes. siya nag-base. Pero ang sagot niya kasi, um, Alam mo yung gas-gas na ng mga you can sagot. Get through this uh, resilient and adaptable. Um, what else? Um, um, generosity, charity. Yun yung mga naririnig ko sa kanya. Eh. So, um, yeah. Parang yung ipinractice niya, ipinilit, ipinilit niya. niya. Ipinilit niya uh -huh. yung singit yung ipinractice niya na hindi naman naging applicable at hindi nasagot yung tanong. Totoo, totoo. Next, number one. The most life-changing thing. Oh, life-changing thing pala. Um, 
it's Miss Cavite, and I liked her the moment I watched her during the um, coaching session with, with Boy. Yeah. Uh, so I like that she 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 answered uh, the way she answered was very natural. She mm -hmm. wasn't trying too hard. Mm -hmm. She told her story. She was confident. She uh, she was able to tell the people why it was impactful to her that that experience. And I, I like the way she ended. She ended strong for uh, me. Um, the problem with Miss Cavite is even dun sa, ano, sa coaching with boy, mm -hmm. napakahaba niyang sumagot. Yeah. Yun yung problema niya. Yun yung talaga. Which is good naman kasi at least, alam mo yun, um, kaya niyang sumagot. Mm -hmm. Yun nga lang, paikot-ikot, pasikot-sikot yung, yung sagot niya na pwede naman very direct clear and concise, concise ba? Pero pwede naman, pwede naman maturo yun, diba? Madaling yun, ituro yun kung maturo, kaya naman kaya magsalita niya. ng... Ano. So, yun lang yung problema talaga sa kanya. Very long talaga siya kung, kung sumagot talaga. Mm -hmm. And number eight, while we are waiting for the announcement of the winners, fake news um, bashing um, sa social media. Yun yata yung question, diba? Yung kailan sa uh, uh, Why should it be... I, should it be part of the new beautiful or why should it not be part of the new beautiful? Hindi ko naman siya tumarala yung question eh. Ayun, naalala mo yung sagot niya. Um, there should be limitations. Uh -huh. But my my note here is that she did not answer the question. Mm -hmm. I... Actually. Mm -hmm. She did not answer. Parang sinabi niya lang yun nga, merong limitations. Um, social media parang is the new technology. Parang yun sinabi uh -huh. niya. Uh -huh. Social media is the new technology. I, I was able to write everything. Yeah. Um, we need to create space parang, um, parang where there is no hate or like bashing for for each and everyone. Mm -hmm. But, alam mo yung mga sagot na hindi tatatak sa atin. Uh -oh. Yan yung mga ganong sagot, actually. So, number 25, um, if if you are going to face God, uh, what will you ask Him? Um, one question. You'll be given one question to ask mm -hmm. um, God. Um, I would say that her answer was not bad. Because mm -hmm. if I were to face God, I would also ask why. Why? You know, there's a lot of happen. There's a lot of things happening to us that you want to know um, the reason for the things that are happening mm -hmm. around us right now. Um, her, her answer was not bad. Could be better. Um, ang note ko dito yung delivery niya. I'm very particular with how they deliver and communicate. Pero yung context ba nung sagot niya, hindi naman sama. Hmm, kasi ang sabi naman niya is parang why na parang um, I know everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, even we are facing pandemic nga. Um, parang sinasabi niya, Filipinos has has a heart of a hero. Parang gano'n? Ayun, nagsahal oh, ko yun. Has oh, a heart of a hero. Parang gano'n yung friend niya. So, oh. and so she thanked the the frontliners or oh, the, the heroes, the mm -hmm. frontliners again. Number 17. Um, Hay nako, si Mas Bate. Freedom of speech. You know what? Saktong-sakto ang nagtanong sa kanya si Pinky Webb. Mm -hmm. A journalist, di ba? Um, what's the question? Parang do you think genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines? Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi nga, which is very Does timely. It, uh -oh. it is very timely sa, yun nga, sa pag-shutdown nga ng isang um, network sa, sa Philippines. Ang sagot niya... Hindi ko naisip yun. Pag-shutdown ng network. Oh. Ang sagot niya is parang it's a basic human right. Diba? Um, since that we are living in a democracy country, parang ganon. However, bakit siya na po nasa election? At saka yung sa Twitter niya. I got Kasi lost. Niya, I, I, I really got lost. And she did not answer the question again. I, 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 it's a pet peeve for me when someone doesn't answer the question. Parang okay ako kung you answer it indirectly, but at least answer the question. Ako okay na ako na sinabi niya sa sinabi niya na the freedom of speech is a basic um, human right, which is 
True, di ba? Yeah, but does it exist? Y- yun nga, doon na nga tayo, doon na nga tayo. Hindi ko lang naiintindihan, bakit siya umabot sa Twitter and the uh, characters? Yung sa characters na sinasabi niya sa Twitter? Uh-oh. Yung parang limited, limited yung kar- limited. characters na pwede mong i-tweet? Um, okay, freedom of speech, part, part pa rin naman siya because masasabi mo kung anong gusto mong mm-hmm. sabihin, diba? Um, pero ba't napunta siya sa politika? No? Oh, I, honestly, sa election, I honestly yeah. got lost in disappointment because mm-hmm. I've been, you know, I've been rooting for her because I like how pleasant she looked and how uh, oh, yung, yung, y- how pink make, make, made her look radiant. But, oh well. Yeah, I got lost in disappointment. Okay, number 10. Uh, number 10, act of number 10 um ano yeah act of kindness act of kindness i love it she told a story about the experience in um in Shargao, um when she and her friends the started the community uh, community kitchen ano ba um, ba? she had great um, comps and she ended strong i forgot her ending but she a community is something then parang sinabi niya um together um, we can conquer the co- uh, together no, as community. a community. We can conquer all. Parang gano? Ah, uh, parang community conquers all. Ata. Oh, parang, parang gano. No. Uh, basta I like I like how she answered. Um, na, the last. Okay, no. Nakikita pa pansin ko lang sa mga Q and A. It really helps to just you know tell your story. Because it's hard to who got somewhere that you haven't even been in, de ba? Mm. So try to relate to the question mm. and try to tell an experience or a story about yourself or about someone mm-hmm. you know and then um sundutan mo ng lessons and you and strong with a phrase na tatatak so, so say mahirap kasi kapag nasa for me ah, siguro mahirap kasi na kapag may tinanong sa um in a certain topic and then um, hindi mo sasabihin yung story mo which na nakaka-relate ka naman siguro dahil nahihiya na eto yung story na or mas gusto siguro nila na ipa-impress i-impress yung judges by making up stories na not hindi they, not making up siguro story siguro they're too conscious to impress people they're too conscious to sound smart and to make sense na the the answer is more for to impress people. Also, naman, it's not always na meron kang story to tell. That, that you can relate to the question. I know. Um, what I was trying to say earlier was that most of the candidates are trying hard to say the right thing, to say the right answer. Mm. Na they tend to forget to be real, be who they are. Kasi mm-hmm. diba, kung Ayon. sasagot ka from your own thoughts, from your puso, it's gonna be, it's gonna make more sense. No? Mm-hmm. When in fact, it is actually an opportunity for them to um, present themselves, for them to introduce themselves to the world, who they, who are, they are, what yes. they stand for, yes. what they believe in, and mm-hmm. how um, they can impact people. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's let's move on to the last one to what to you Ms. call the Kadayan. dark horse. Number twelve, the People's Choice Award. Can I can I start? Because you already gave your feedback. Okay, okay. <laughs> earlier the Michael Singo. Uh, uh, so among all the candidates, she's the only candidate na nilaro niya yung sabot niya. Correct. As eh, nilaro niya. I I wouldn't think of answering it that way. And you were surprised. Yeah, I was. I was. Um, the answer was considerate. Kasi ako, ang ideal sa akin, you just answer directly. Answer the question directly. And then naalala mm-hmm. ko yung ibang beauty queens before na there are smart queens na they wouldn't answer it as you expect them to. Mm-hmm. But they will, you know, twist it and turn it around. Yes. And, and take it as an opportunity to um, send a message to people and that is exactly what she did. Um, okay, what's the question? 
Um, what do you think of women? Yung sa luxury, uh, luxury uh, material, uh, material things during pandemic. Uh, um, buying expensive clothes, bags, bags yeah. shoes. Um, yun. So. Yung sinabi pa lang na yun, meron nagworry na ako na it's hard to say na it's not good or it's not right. Cause it may um, offend. It offend, may, yeah. Uh, offend a lot, a lot of you know women who invests on those things and who um, seek happiness buying luxury things. Correct, correct, correct. So her answer was considerate. It was mm -hmm. not bad at all, no? Because ang answer niya sa kung remember mo para sinabi niya it's a matter of choice. Mm -hmm. And it's a matter of priority. Mm -hmm. So, as an individual, mm -hmm. di ba? So, at least, kung against man siya of buying luxury items, but still, pinarinig niya na, that's your priority, buying luxury items. This is my priority. I will not buy. I will save money. If I were. Oh, if I were. I will save my money instead of buying. Let's begin with our second runner-up. The Beanie Beanie Filipina second runner-up is our Beanie Beanie from... Beanie Beanie 7, Meiji Cruz from Valenzuela. Miss Grand International. 
Ako pala 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 siya pala ang grand para hindi masyadong giveaway na giveaway siguro oh well kasi deserving din naman yung mga nakakuha ng mga awards deserving talaga the mga no, special my awards personal, my personal opinion lang kay Miss Masbate she may not have gotten those awards because of the lack of um mm. like what you were saying mm. earlier wala siyang ganun eh so I was surprised Actually. Na siya si Miss International. Ako hindi na ako surprise eh. Kasi kanina ko pa sinasabi, nasabi ko na rin na mm. sa'yo kanina, sabi ko, um, international siya talaga. Bagay na bagay sa kanya ang Miss International. Um, special awards, okay. Sino ba si, sino ba sa, kay ano, kay yung jowa ni, yung isang judge kanina? Yung medyo marami ng retoke. Um, ah, si Kylie. Uh -huh. Ano siya? International. Yun nga, we agreed earlier that pang Miss International material. Uh -huh. We agreed earlier. Kasi yung mga beauty nila hindi nagkakalayo. Yes, uh -huh. yes. But after the Q&A, I just was expecting that the Q&A would, you know, affect the results. Um, she did not perform in the Q&A. Okay. That's why I did not expect any more. Kasi sa Q&A, um, palagay natin kung nasa 60% man, siguro nabigyan siya ng kahit at least 25 or kalahate. 30%. Na hindi rin naman masama na na huhugutin sa swimsuit, sa natkos, nabawi na nabawi, sure. nabawi sa iba, nabawi sa itsura. At saka, uh, Miss International uh, material talaga siya. Um, Kitang-kita naman eh, yung, yung line-up ng mga beauties ng Miss International, pwedeng-pwede talaga siya. And don't get me wrong, guys, and don't hate me. I like her. From the start, I like yeah. her. It's just that she didn't perform in the Q&A, so I was not expecting that she'll get a crown anymore. But, I'm still happy for her and Pero, she's really pretty. Yes. Pero kasi, um, at least nakita ng mga tao, nakita natin na kayang-kaya niya yung Q&A. Papalish siya lang. At least she has the basic skill uh, back. Skill, uh, she can express herself. Uh, she can communicate in English. Very good yun. Uh, Talagang polish. At saka, when she was given that crown, dun ko talaga nakita na Sobrang mahihain niya. Grabe ka pa. Grabe ka mahihain niya. Paano niya kinayang sumali sa pageant, no? Eh, As in, 
nakita mo siya kanina? <laughs> Oo, nakita ko Super kayo. mahiya. Yeah, and, on the other hand, my happiest, happiest um, result, the result that made, made me most happy is Grand International. Yeah. I like... You miss Cavite. Mm-hmm. Um, bagay yun sa kanya. Bagay sa kanya. Ano lang, mahihirap pa lang tayo sa hype. She has to outperform everyone para mapaisip. Bakit si Sam? Mamaliit pa niya naman. Mas maliit pa siya kay Sam. Mas maliit pa ba siya? Sobrang liit niya. Eh di mag, ano siya, um, six inches na heels. <laughs> At saka kailangan niya talagang, ano, mag, mag buff kasi medyo ang nipis masyado mm-hmm. ng katawan niya. Pero Miss Cavite, um, well deserved. Palaban, palaban siya. Yeah. Confidence, meron. Dagdagan lang ng konte or sakto na, sakto na yon Sa Q&A, pwedeng-pwede. Pero, yun nga lang, medyo mahaba lang talaga sa sumagot. Pero walang problema madali yan. yan. Madali lang yun. Mm-hmm. So, bagay na bagay sa kanya. Uh, Miss Globe, um, Who is Miss Globe? Si Batangas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bagay okay. din. Oo. Oh, yeah. oh, n- Ano na, ina-expect ko na na makakapasok na siya. From the Q&A, lahat mm-hmm. ng good feedback natin pumasok. Mm-hmm. Except kay uh, Masbate. Mas Pero kasi, kung hindi mo ipapasok si Masbate, sino ilalagay mo sa Messenger? Kaya nga, I was actually looking at my list Wala na. sa feedback namin sa Q&A. Sino pa, sino pa, sino pa. And then I forgot about Masbate. I forgot about our original favorite. Yes. Kasi nga, medyo na ano lang siya. Medyo Lumihis lang siya, siya nahirapan siya. siya. Pero, hindi na masama. Hindi mm-hmm. na masama yung Q&A niya. Um, yun nga, sabi mo, at least, um, kaya niyang i-express yung sarili niya. Mm-hmm. So, um, ang daling kasi, Cavite, Masbate, um, Batangas, si Pampanga, hindi nakapasok, even second or first runner-up. Well, that's fine, okay lang. Kasi, um, yung sa Q&A niya, hindi ko rin naman nagustuhan yung... yung... So, masaya, masaya ako sa naging result niya. And kagayan... Hmm. Kalain mo. Kalain mo, hindi na pumasok sa top 12 yan ha. Pero, nagka-title, Miss Intercontinental. And, alam mo yung... Um, very surprised siya, no? Na mm-hmm. nakapasok siya. Yeah. For me, talagang kailangan mabigyan siya ng um, place or ng title man yeah. lang. Kasi, pag hindi, I mean, sayang. Ang galing ng sagot niya eh. Sayang, sayang si Kagayang kung hindi siya mabibigyan. So, yung lineup ngayon, nung mga nanalo, nung nabigyan ng title, ang galing kasi yung mga judges marunong. may marunong may mata at may tenga lahat ng judges magaling mm-hmm. kasi kuhang-kuha nila kung sino yung pwedeng isasabak na no. alam mo yung kada kada babaeng ipinanalo nila alam mo yung kita mo na okay deserving uh-huh. ah, alam ko kung bakit ito pinili uh-huh. hindi Totoo. yung magugulat ka na baseless ba walang uh, alam mo yung hindi mo maiintindihan ng resulta. Kung saan, 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 gina- oh, saan galing yung resulta at bakit eto nabigyan yes. ng title. Uh-huh. Well, so, I'm happy. Yes. I'm happy for the Binibining Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Um, hindi tayo binigo ng Binibining Pilipinas. The production, um, mga gown, swimsuit, um, hosting, hindi tayo binigo. Um, hindi boring for me. So, for me, ano na eh, um, yung effort nila na mabigyan tayo ng magandang show. Mm-hmm. So far, eto, ha, pandemic ha, so far, eto yung pinaka gusto kong um, show na naibigay ng Binibining Pilipinas. Compared to the uh, previous years, parang nabubarin yung pangako mm-hmm. eh. So, sobrang dami ng babae, mm-hmm. sobrang dami ng candidates. Eto kasi parang 34 lang sila. And you didn't feel na walang audience. Totoo, totoo, no? totoo. Ang galing. Tapos yung energy ng, ng mga hosts, hosts, alam mo, consistent all throughout. Medyo si Katriona lang, medyo may mga slips. So, 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 parang um, nag-ang, ano, 
kulang na lang sasabihin niya eh yung Venezuela eh part ng Philippines. Well, na uh, ano lang 'yun. Siguro galing sa ano, galing sa baka may jet lag pa. Um Catriona and um Nicole Cordovez ang galing, magaling talaga sila. Actually, wala nang ibang pwede pang maging host. 'Di ba? Yeah. Na mm, naiisip ko Uh-oh. for Binibine sa ngayon. So sana um magperform yung mga title holders natin at makauwi tayo ng you know cr- all right let's close the vlog um guys kung nagustuhan niyo yung video ngayon for our reaction video sa Binibining Pilipinas 2021 um please hit like and share the video and mag-subscribe na rin kayo and hit the notification bell so that you would be um notified once we post new videos especially if you're a fan of beauty pageants we'll yes. definitely definitely cover those because this right here is a beauty pageant fan and i am starting to become one <laughs> and it's really really entertaining and i love it i love it so mm, much so bra kahit ako din um i mean enjoy na enjoy kung manood ng ng ganitong um show All right, so well, thank you. And have a great day everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.